Well, hello there! Today I'm gonna be showing you how to create this makeup look inspired by the gorgeous Jennifer Lawrence and the makeup look she wore to the Oscars. This eye makeup look shows you also how to work your hooded eyelids. Jennifer has got hooded eyelids and I do too, so I'm gonna show you how to hid the hood. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the brows and I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Top and I'm applying it with this angled brush by Rita Vara. Jennifer had a pretty bushy brow with the eye makeup so I'm gonna try and replicate that look by drawing these hair-like strokes with the brush. And next you can use hair gel, hair wax, hairspray, or in this case I used this hair paste from my boyfriend and used this spoolie brush by Duroy and brushed all the hairs upwards. If I owned a brow gel that would work as well, but I don't, so this is just as good. Next I'm using this Urban Decay Primer Potion and priming my eyelid before applying eyeshadow. And here, as you can see, I've got a pretty small moving lid, so I always like to apply the eyeshadow up on the hood, so that the eyeshadow is visible when you open the eye. It makes the eyes appear bigger and the hood less visible. Here I'm using this NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Ice Mocha as an eyeshadow base. I applied the color on the moving lid and now I'm blending the color upwards towards the hood so that it gets a gradient effect. Next I'm using Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette and blending these two shades together is the shade Whiskey and Black Market and I'm just packing it in on the moving lid. Next I'm taking the shade Radar, these are probably of my most used shades from this palette and I'm just using this blending brush from Kix and working the color in the crease. And then taking this two timer liner by NYX, I'm using the Call liner side and lining my upper and lower lash line. And this doesn't have to be very neat because we're gonna smudge it out. And I'm also applying the liner on my waterline. This will make my eyes appear smaller, but as I've got downturned eyes as well, this will help to make the eyes more lifted. And I'm using the Smoky Palette brush for the smudging. Next I'm taking a little bit of whiskey and using it to smoke out the lower lash line. And then taking a little bit of radar, I'm using this blending brush again to get a nicely faded look. And then I'm gonna curl these little lashes and apply some mascara. I'm using the NYX Doll Eye Mascara. And this mascara has been great for my lower lashes as it makes them look longer and also it doesn't make them clumpy but for the upper lashes it's a little bit too wet and it tends to make them very straight. I'm also applying these natural looking lashes by Ardell and I'm not quite sure if Jennifer is wearing any false eyelashes in the makeup look but I felt like my upper lashes are so tiny that I needed a little bit of lashiness. And to finish off the eye makeup, I'm applying this Kix Baked Eye Color in the shade Milky Way in the inner corners of my eyes. And for the lips, I'm using Isadora Perfect Lip Liner in the shade Subtle Nude. In the picture, Jennifer seemed like she didn't have any lip liner on, so I'm just using this color that is close to my own lip color to just define the lip line a little bit. Next I'm taking NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Medium and applying it in the middle of the lips before the lipstick. You could also use lipstick, but I don't have one that's light enough, so I'm using concealer instead. And lastly I'm taking this Jolie Rouge Brilliant Lipstick by Clarins in the shade O2 Rhubarb. And I'm lightly patting it on the lips. 
Okay, so here you have the finished Jennifer Lawrence Oscars makeup look. If you're wondering what I did with my hair, I just tucked it under my shirt and then I got this faux bob kind of look. I'm also going to do a hair tutorial next as it has been highly requested. So if you've got any wishes on what kind of tutorial you would want me to do, then write it down in the comment section below. For full product details you can find in the description box below and I'll also be writing down my Instagram and Facebook accounts over there, so take a look! Thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this then like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time! Bye bye!